In this video, we're going to be making a bot in VoiceFlow. It's going to incorporate VoiceFlow and Zapier, and it's going to be for Toronto Martial Arts Gym. Okay, so this is a demo product that I proceeded to give to a client. This you can sell for around $500, uh, $500 to $1,000, depending on the features. Um, so let's jump into the premium, the one I already built, and then I can show you how to build it from scratch. So it's going to start off from a start node, and it's going to go to a welcome card, and then it's going to greet the user with a pun. Um, and we can preview how this looks. So, hiya there, welcome to Martial Arts Toronto, where kicks and giggles go hand in hand. Beautiful. Then as I am Stefan, your smart AI assistant for Martial Arts Toronto, and then ask me anything or click a button below. And then it has options. So these are pre-selected buttons that you can select. What are your gym hours? Where are you located? I want to know more about your gym. How much does the membership cost? And book a class. Okay. So where are your what are your gym hours goes to a card called gym information which says which dojo do you want the information for. So it allows you to select because they have multiple locations, which location, um, and then whatever location they select, it will get captured in a variable, and then that variable will go to the um, to this card, which is the hours and address. So using the knowledge base, it will search up for that specific dojo that was registered in the previous card, and it'll give them the address and the phone number and the hours for that. And then it allows them to ask another question, that's it, um, book, which comes come to the booking card, or back to the start. Um, when they say ask another question, it will go to AI prompt. Um, it will go capture first, and then it will go to a, a um, knowledge base AI prompt in which um, the last utterance will be sent to the knowledge base for it to be answered. And then they, it will say anything else afterwards, and they can ask another question. And I forgot to route this back to here. So now I just did that. So that's a live fix in front of you guys. So next is, I want to know more about your gym. It will go to a card, Martial Arts Toronto is a group of affiliated dojo. So this is a pre-written text that I generated with, um, with AI. And I just pasted it in. And then this ends with what specific information are you looking for? And this allows him to ask a specific question if they want to learn more, because it give a brief overview of the, the gym. And then it can ask, the user can ask another question that's more in depth. And then it will be sent to um, the knowledge base AI query where this is captured as a variable, and then it will answer and try to get him or her to be sold in book a trial class. So basically how I'm making it is that the question that's asked by the user will be answered, but in a way that directs him to book a trial class, because that's what ultimately we want. We want the lead to be captured. We want to capture a lead. So and then if so, um, it goes to another card. It says, would you like to proceed with a trial class? And then it allows him to book a trial class for an adult, for a kid, or not right now. And then if they choose not right now, it will say they said they don't want to book a trial. And then the AI will generate response. And then this is the response that it will generate. Can I ask if there's anything specific that's holding you back from booking a trial? So this tells it what's the, it wants to know what's holding it, holding you back from booking a trial with us. Okay. So this ends with we're more than happy to provide you have the decision. And then it allows the user to ask another question, which we sent to the AI knowledge base again. Maybe because they had a question, did it? Um, know the answer to that's why they don't want to register so maybe they can ask for the question here and then i'll say anything else and they can go to booking and book if they want or go back to start or ask another question um if they ask another question we'll go to an ai help loop so I'll, it'll ask them for the question then i'll capture it and then i'll send it back to the ai and it'll keep repeating infinitum okay then the other option um, we'll proceed with the booking at the end i first i want to clarify how much does the membership cost so how much does the membership cost um it will go to a card and this is just um Predefined, written that I generated from Chat uh, from ChatGPT. I initially put an uh, AI model here, but it's just too expensive um, because the smart answer needs GPT four. Because what I was trying to get up, get out of it needed GPT four because it's more smart, and GPT three point five didn't cut it. So instead, I just generated one text and Chat GPT four and pasted it in. So it's always the same. I can even generate variances here to be honest, but I'll leave it like that. So while I can provide specific pricing at the moment, we'd love to offer you a courtesy class to experience our services firsthand. Afterwards, we can discuss membership options that best suit your needs. Okay, and then I'll just take them to a booking card um, where they can see the book. So then, when they, if they want to book, it goes book a trial for a class for adult, book a trial for a class for kid. It will capture it as a variable. So if they chose adult, it'll be adult. If they chose kid, it'll be kids. This is just for the the gym to know what they want. And then, then it says let's proceed to free class trial class for adult booking. And then can we get the name for the booking? And now this is where it captures the user's name. Captures user's email, captures the user's phone number, captures um, the user which dojo he'd like to join, so which location, and then it sets the variable, and then it goes in more in depth what program interests you. 
Um, so it has different options. So book four, adult, karate, tai chi, blah, blah, And a source of all and a variable as well. I might even have an unsure option here as well if they don't know. And then, and then, so then the gym will just call them and figure out which program they want to join. Then it will go to a thanks card, um, where it just gathers more information, like how did you hear about us? And then this can be useful. And then it will also go into the next card, which is do you prefer a call or email? So if they would like a text message or a call, or they would like an email for the follow-up email, um, follow-up lead inquiry. And then I'll go to Zapier and store all the information in a Google Sheets document, okay? And then afterwards, if successful, and even if it's not, I'll say anything else. If it's not successful, I'll direct them to the contact us page. If it's successful, it's sent to Zapier, Google Sheets. And then I'll say anything else. Yes, no. Yes, it has options. And if not, it just ends um, here. I think this is supposed to say bye, not so bye. But it works, so it's okay. So that's pretty much it. So this is basically a lead capture with knowledge base um, inquiry. And uh, the knowledge base I have here, just a couple of its um, the websites and some PDF documents, one from the website, a gym launch secret strategy. Um, for the sales pitch, I was using it for the most comp. It didn't really use it much, but it's still there. And then uh, another PDF that I just uploaded the phone numbers because it didn't have it on the website for the specific locations. Okay, so now we can jump into the actual build. I'm not going to build it super identical um, because this is more specific. This is a specific use case. So I'm going to start from scratch. So now we're going to go back. And by the way, this template is going to be in the description below. This time it's not going to be free, unfortunately. But um, uh, we're going to, I'm launching something very soon. It's going to have free templates and premium templates. It's going to be all Discord focused. Um, so it's going to be free to enter the Discord, which gives you basic access to basic templates and free templates. And if you'd like a more premium, um, filled up templates like this to use, for your clients, then you can just, uh, it'll cost uh, a bit more. Okay, so again, descriptions below, this is probably gonna be around one to $5 for this template here. This is just a one-time thing. Um, and yeah, let's proceed with the build. So we're gonna new assistant, we're gonna build a assistant, so I'm gonna call this Martial Arts Gym. Okay, select channel, hope chat, select channel, English, continue, and create assistant. And let's find a gym to build this here. And then we're gonna add this to the knowledge base. To the knowledge base, we're gonna add data source to the top right. Let's see if we can do this. Let's see. Yeah, let's just add the site map. This is beautiful. Um, this is, has a 300 page limit, by the way, for site map. So please keep that in mind. The other bot that I made, they couldn't do this because they had too much pages. This is perfect. Trackpad. Um, we can leave this here. We can keep doing this, this, this. Um, say hello. Yeah. Say hello to the user. Ah, sense away. I was trying to see. Like, have your own twist. Okay, there you go. I am very proud request by. I'm for four. What's the name of the gym? How much gym? So I can make this bold. Generator. Okay. So it already has predefined options here. It has buttons. Okay, so we can uh, ask a question. We can keep this. Gym hours. We can do location. And we can do. Okay. Okay, so for gym hours, we can just do this. Response AI here. Um, we can do knowledge base. What are the gym hours? Let me see if it knows from the knowledge base. It's moment of truth. Oh my god, it's so beautiful. Isn't it just so beautiful? How it just knows everything? Gym hours. So I'm gonna go back here to the mouse so I can move it properly. Location. Another response AI. What is the address? And the phone number. So make sure you select knowledge base. So then phone number. We're gonna do a text. And then 
analog. Awesome. Let's get you set up and you give us your full name, please. I'm going to generate some variances here. No one's fine. And we'll listen, we'll capture, and then we'll get the. Uh, we'll go back and we'll click NLU. We'll click, uh, we're going to create an entity, actually. Because we want a name. So we're going to say name. Uh, Entity one, okay, we'll change the entity one. It's gonna be the name. And we're gonna go new. I say thanks. What is your email address? Yes, contact. Use the naming. And then we're gonna do copy the capture. And we're gonna create a new entity. We're gonna go back to NLU. We'll go entity we're gonna press plus. We're gonna get uh, email. Okay, so it's gonna be entity two. Okay, gotcha. Now what is the best one here? Okay, let's go listen, listen, capture, and then we'll Go back to NLU, create a new entity, we have a phone number, and it's entity 4, and that's pretty much good to go. So now we can drag, and then we'll, list, we'll do dev API, and then we can go to Zapier. So open up Zapier, create a new CAP, once again, webhook. Catch hook, continue, continue, listening, copy this webhook, and paste it in here. And now we can change this to post, and then we can go to body, and then we can enter the data. Okay, so we have entity one is full name, entity two is email, and entity four is phone number. Let's see if we can change this name, entity 2, email, entity 3 is phone, well email already exists, so I'm going to change this to email 2, email 2, okay, now we're good, then we can change it to name, this is how it's easier to read, email 2, and phone. And we'll go back to the webhook form data. We'll say name, name, add. We'll do phone, phone, plus again. And we'll do lastly, but not least, email to. And then we're good. So we can send a request. Name, blah, blah, blah and Code 200 success, so we should go back and test trigger. Boom, boom, boom. So we're gonna do a Google Sheets, the second action, and then we're gonna create a new one. Uh, we'll call it a May UK, and we'll just get lead info is gonna be name, email, phone. Go back to Zapier, so event. We're gonna choose create spreadsheet row, we're gonna press continue here. We're gonna choose the account, Red AI Toronto. Once we add it, we're gonna continue. We're gonna select Drive. I'll move this up here for now. And then spreadsheet, we're gonna choose MAUK. For worksheet, we're gonna put sheet zero. Okay, now we're good. So now we just fill in the information, name, email, and the phone number is not coming up. Why is that? Maybe because I didn't let go. Let me refresh the fields. There's the phone. Phone, continue, and then we're going to test action. It should fill out or not. I'm still testing, testing. There we go. It's in. So now it works. Publish. And now this bot is functional. Before we deploy, let's configure the success. So um, we're going to do a text. Oh, 
Thanks so much. And then we'll say name. We will be in touch. Is there anything else we can help you with? Okay, so that's the success and fail. So knowledge base. Um, give contact information. Give email address to contact us. Let me see if this works. There we go. So if it fails, it will direct them to an email. Fail. Success. So that's what's going to happen. But if we, they want to ask another question, we're going to put a button. So we're going to listen. We're going to do buttons. So yes. And no. Okay. So we're going to, if they don't want to ask another question, we're going to go end. Okay. And then if they want to ask another question, we're going to go to AI loop. So we're going to do, we're going to start with the text, ask the question, and then we're listen, capture, um, delete this, put the capture in there. And then we're going to direct that to the AI, response AI. And then we're just going to tell it to answer. And let me see, what is the address? And there we go. And then we can say, we can loop it. So we can copy this, paste it. And then let me see if I can drag a text in here. We can. Anything else? If so, yes. Loop. If not, no. Okay. So that's pretty much done. So now we can publish this bot. Version, we'll say version one, V1. And percent okay so now we can embed the widget uh, which is here and you can also set up the appearance you can change the color you can uh, change the icon image the top left change the right it's just the avatar change everything you can also disable the branding so we can disable powered by disable it so that disappears before after you can adjust the spacings um, you can adjust the memory never forget or forget after it's refreshed or closed you can adjust the description and um, then you have this code here. And this code, you just paste it um, before the closing of your body text in the HTML code. The body parameter, um, you just paste this in there and it will automatically incorporate the chatbot which is on top bottom right. Thank you guys so much for watching this far into the video. Remember to like, subscribe if you made it this far and also the templates are down below. Um, there's gonna be two links, one for the template which is not gonna be free this time. It's gonna be around $5. Um, and then there's going to be a second link for a Discord waitlist. There's going to be a waitlist for a free entry to Discord, which gives you access to basic templates. And there's a paid Discord that's going to come out too soon as well, which is going to be access to complex templates for like real estate agencies and stuff that we're building. I'm also going to be doing a demo for a real estate company soon, and I'd love to build it live for you guys. Um, if you guys are interested into that, um, please let me know down below, and then we can set it up um, on a later date. Maybe we do it in Discord or a Zoom call or a Google a meets call or YouTube stream. So please let me know down below. Give me some feedback. I appreciate it a lot. And the likes mean a lot to me. And I appreciate all you guys' time. Thank you so much and have a great day.